Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I'll be discussing what a VPS is and some of the options you get with different providers on the field at the moment. We're gonna start with Remnode, we're gonna proceed with DigitalOcean, and then we're gonna finish with Linode. Um, if you, if some, some of you ask me like, which one is the best VPS to use at the moment? And that's very complicated to explain because it depends on what you're actually trying to do. If you just have it a couple websites running, you know, a small server will do the job. Um, you might do some load balancing. You can actually use two, three servers to load balance, and uh, you will have actually really good performance. If you don't want to do that, and if you just want to, you know, mess around, uh, start using Linux or get familiar with the server administration remotely, especially through SSH, because a lot of people use a server on their house, and they might use like DI, DNS. Um, and that way they connect to their own house, but that's not very, you know, I personally don't like that because that's very intrusive for your house spe uh, specifically, meaning that, you know, somebody it's actually pointing, the IP is pointing to your house and that's actually if somebody can access to the server, that's actually people being able to access internally in your house. So it, it's, it's something I really don't like, but, you know, having a server on the internet, facing the internet, um, I'm actually worrying about using IP tables, about all these different stuff that you have to do when managing a server. It's very important to know. So, let's cut all the talk and now let's get down to business. Um, we're going to start with RAM, RAM Node, like I said. This is a very relative um, new company. Uh, it's actually coming up very um, popular right now among a couple of you know, friends of mine. They've been saying, you know, this is a really cool company. It's offering really good services. Um, something you can see here, they offer three locations, one in Seattle, Atlanta, and Netherlands. So if you want to deploy your application uh, for Europe and for the states, you have um, options. Uh, unfortunately for Asia, they don't have that. So you know, people connecting from Asia, they will connect to Netherlands. And there might be a little bit of a latency because a little bit further distance. Or if that's not the case, they will have to connect to Atlanta. Or Seattle it all depends but to tell you the truth and tell you which one is the best I can say it for sure uh, I prefer uh, uh, digital ocean that's my favorite but I'm actually starting to use rem node and that's mostly because of pricing you know digital, digital ocean pricing it's just amazing but we're gonna get to that in a second here you have some options like open VZ you can do KBM and this is the virtualization environment in which they're running um, some people say OpenVC is better than KVM. Um, they say there are some limitations with OpenVC, some limitations with KVM and all that. I mean, don't worry too much about it. Apparently, people can say, oh, KVM is better because they're more expensive. Don't go by the price because majority of the time it's not like that. Majority of the time it's just for what you're getting, like 5 gigs of space with night 3 or 20 gigs of space and all that. You know, they might say it's at rate 10. Uh, things like that so you know it's don't worry too much about it because performance wise that's something you actually have to see and you know for yourself and try it so OpenVC some of the plans that they have over here uh, you can choose over here pro selection Netherlands Atlanta. let's say you want one in Atlanta Georgia so here uh, the interface is kind of ugly I really don't like the interface it's very absurd something you have to check over here for access uh, for example, says it's starting from $24 annually, right? You're paying for the year. And over here, change to quarterly. So pay every quarter. Here it says monthly. And then it goes from there. So, and depending on what you need, they tell you, for example, here, the 3,000, they give you 3 gigs, uh, 4 CPUs, 100 SSD uh, space, um, 1 gigabit port connection, 45, 4.5 terabytes of bandwidth for the month. Um, they give you one IPv4 plus one free. That's nice because if you have an extra IP, you can actually do a uh, failover, meaning you have two servers with the same IP configured with the DNS, and each server maybe is running Pacemaker, or I'm sorry, or Heartbeat, right? And uh, the way be talking to each other, and if one server goes down, the other one comes up. And if you have two servers running, uh, as a failover, and then behind them you have some load balancers, as uh, for example HA proxy. That will be a really solid architecture that you have for your websites or for your application. So that will be amazing. 
So this is actually really cool that they give you an extra IP, f you know, for free. Um, and then it says automatically uh, backups. Some of them, they, um, some companies, they charge you for it. Apparently, uh, Remnode, they are for free. So that's actually really, really cool. Uh, but, you know, like I said, they're relatively new. I'm pretty sure they're not web designers because the interface is kind of ugly. But other than that, it seems like a pretty cool company. Um, moving on, we got DigitalOcean.com. This is my favorite guy. This is, I'm actually a grandfather uh, from the company. I actually signed up with them very early in their stage, um, the development stage. And now I have unlimited bandwidth anywhere, I, whatever I want to do. Uh, some of the program uh, plans over here, you can do it monthly, you can do it hourly. And, you know, it tells you, like, if you just want to spin the server and run an application and actually see how it's performing, then you can do that. But if not, it's okay, though. Over here, it tells you five bucks a month, gives you 512 memory, one core, 20 gigs, and one terabyte transfer. Over here, 10, one gig, one core, 30 gigs, two terabytes transfer, and all that. So, I'm actually running the $5 a month, and that's actually really good. And the way I have it set up, it's I have one server running. And then I have two down here doing the load balancing. So it's a very solid architecture for $15 a month that I'm running. So um, it's actually you know, cool. 15 cents. Uh, well, less than 15 cents. 0 0.015 cents an hour. Gives you a little bit step above the last one. Still one quarter. But, I mean, it depends whatever you need you know you know over here it says additional bandwidth transfer is only two cents per gigabyte now if you're looking for something higher they have even the 640 dollars a month they give you 64 gigs 20 core 640 hard drive and 9 terabyte transfer so it tells you all plans include all the state dna's management so you can do the management through the um interface that they have uh through the dashboard and 99.89 .99 uptime sla so that's actually really good in a 9.99 so some websites they just say 99% or 99.9. .9. Remember that the higher the 99.99 is, the more expensive it's going to be. So let's say it's 99.99999, it's going to be really expensive. Um, then it's a global image transfer servers. Let me explain something a little bit, the global image transfer. So let's say you create an image in New York, right? And then uh, you want to transfer that to, let's say, Asia because they have a, sir, uh, they have a data center in Singapore. It's, it's really, really cool. So you can do anything from U.S., Europe, or uh, Singapore. And then if you want something transferred from the U.S., meaning an image, a droplet, you can do a snapshot of that and then actually transfer that image into Asia. And then everything will run the same as if it was in Europe. The only thing that will change is the IP. And if you have a domain or something like that pointing to that server, you have to change your DNS settings to point to that specific IP um, in Singapore or whatever you want to move it, let's say Europe or whatever. So it tells you something here about pricing, billing, um, you know, developers of you. The website is actually really, really cool. They just redesigned it. And something really cool about Digital Oceans, for example, Digital Ocean, they have uh, reviews. Let me see. Digital Ocean, how to use. Uh, and there we go. Load balancing. How to use HA product to set up my skill load balancing. So they give you an enormous amount of tutorials that you can actually go through. And it tells you, for example, if they are advanced, they're for beginner oriented, intermediate, or whatever. So it's, I mean, it's an amazing amount of resources, an amazing amount of material that you can read that will make you a better Linux administrator and will help you manage your server more effectively. So I really like DigitalOcean, mostly because of the sensitive community and everybody, even in the IRC channel, it's you know very helpful. So it's it's really amazing. Um, now moving from there. Oh, actually, before I, we move to the last one, you know, I mean, no kidding. In 55 seconds, you have the server running. Sometimes some other providers, it takes a long time for them to deploy the server. Here, in 55 seconds, you have it running. It's crazy. Really, really, really cool. Um, anyway, so now we got a Linode. Linode is actually the big daddy, we can say, from the three, because they've been running, they've been actually in the business longer than anybody else. Not anybody else. I mean, not in comparison to GoDaddy or Rackspace and all that, Enterprise Solutions. But Linode, it's, you know, that they were before. 
And for that reason, I think their price, their server's a little bit higher. I might be wrong. Because this cheaper one is a $20 a month. Which, I actually use Linode, and I like it. Their network is amazing. I mean, it's like really fast. Um, they say it's 99.9 .9 uptime guarantee. Digital Ocean was 99.99% guarantee. Um, customer care, it's 24-7, which is actually really good. Uh, Digital Ocean sometimes takes a while for them, for, for the tickets, when you open a ticket and for people to reply to you. But other than that, it's actually, it's not bad. Uh, now let's go to pricing. Pricing goes from $0.03 cents an hour, which is 20 a month. They give you 2 gigs of RAM um, in comparison to the other one over here, for example. Um, they give you, let's compare by the hour. So they only give you uh, one core. It gives you two. 48 gigs, 20 a month. Actually, let's do the comparison here. So you get two gigs. You get two gigs. You get two cores. Two core, 48. The other one gives you 40. Three terabyte transfer. This one gives you three terabyte transfer. The biggest difference over here is the connection, though. It's 40 gigabit network coming in. And 250 megabit network coming, you know, going out, which is an absurd speed. I mean, it's the bandwidth in this company. It's the best. I'm telling you, if that's what you're looking for, bandwidth, uh, speed, and all that, um, then go with Linode. I mean, because it's it's really, really, really good. Um, Linode started doing the same thing as Digital Ocean with the manuals and stuff like that. For example, here is resources, and they tell you. Um, uh, getting started or guides and tutorials so you know they tell you like all the different stuff over here and some recently published guides and how to start get started with Linode um, it's it's about the same thing as digital ocean digital ocean for example they pay you $50 for a manual that you write to them if you submit it and it gets approved you get 50 bucks here uh, they pay you $100 for every guide that you write and if approved and they publish it then you get 100 bucks but it's actually, I don't know, I, I prefer DigitalOcean's um, community more than Linode. Uh, but, like I said, it depends up to you what you want to do, uh, what you're trying to accomplish, what, how critical is your application, and all the different things. If you don't want to use these three options that I present to you, you can do, well, for example, this company over here, you can go ahead and work with this company, which is Rackspace. Rackspace is the granddaddy. Rackspace is the, is the man, you know, it's the best of the best. This is uh, powered by OpenStack, which is an open source platform, which is really cool. If, even especially if you're into Linux and if you want everything to be open source. Um, some of the products that they offer are amazing. For example, you can do cloud files, which actually is, they host your own files, so that improves the performance of the website itself, uh, cloud monitor train, um, load balancers, you can do load balancers included like automatically, that way you don't have to configure anything. And this is for the people that actually have an application or have a business. And they don't have to worry, they don't want to worry too much about the technical stuff and all that. You can actually contact Rackspace, tell them what you want to do, and they will actually do it for you. They will actually work everything out and set it up the way you actually want it. That way you don't have to worry about doing installations, doing configuration, worrying about the architecture, the infrastructure, and all, and all that. They provide everything, and then you just worry about managing your business, which is what everybody wants, right? But anyway, um, this was a very long video. Sorry, guys. I just get really excited when I talked about this stuff. Uh, like I said, RamNode, um, DigitalOcean.com. You have Linode.com. And lastly, if you're looking for performance for something more robust, more of a really, really good company, then you can go with Rackspace. Rackspace offers also 365 24-7. So they're always available, especially the chat. You can talk to people and support, and they will help you out. Um, it's a really amazing company, actually, to tell you the truth. But I'm not trying to go with Rackspace in comparison to any of the other three options that I mentioned because I'm a customer uh, with every of them with the exception of RemNote. But um, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Um, this is just a little bit tutorial. I mean, just a little bit review on what are the good things, what are the bad things. And that's it.
Uh, if you want to know more about it, go ahead and Google it, check what people are saying, look at the reviews, and then from there, uh, you can make your own decision and decide which one fits your needs the best. All right, guys, if you have any questions, remember email me um, or on Twitter, shoot me a uh, tweet at SalCoder or send me an email, coder at SalCoder.com. If you have any questions, suggestions, or whatever, um, let me know. If not, click the like button or share with your friends. Um, I know it's a, it's a long video, but um, hopefully it helped you a lot. And now you know some of the providers that are out there. All right, guys, thanks. Take care. Bye.